It's an extremely good moment to be talking about the future of regulation because we're living through you know, the worst global recession that the world has suffered since the 1930s. Um, so it's a pretty big event. And there's no doubt that a contributor to the mess we're in was some pretty lousy regulation. So it's not a bad moment to ask, what do we expect of regulators? My own view would be that we do expect regulators, and we should expect regulators, to create a framework of rules and codes of behaviour that prevent these kinds of seismic, really damaging events that aren't just you know, impoverishing our country, but are causing problems all over the world. I mean, to be frank, life has become a lot worse in many of the developing countries. So we shouldn't think that you know, this is a, a British phenomenon or we're suffering particularly badly. This is a big, therefore, big recession. And it's a, it's a big question how we get what we expect from our regulators. There is a separate kind of regulation, which is the sort of micro-regulation, which is um, you know, how we prevent sort of, in a sense, smaller scale accidents from happening. But right now, for me, it's that more fundamental question, which is, can we expect regulators to prevent the kind of you know, global catastrophe we've seen? And if we, if we do look to regulators to uh, provide a bit more stability, can we expect national regulators to provide that kind of stability? Or, or is globalisation such that really we've got to allow the creation of really powerful global institutions, um, which of course brings all sorts of questions to do with democratic accountability and governance. So there's, you know, these are huge questions of our time. So this is an evening sponsored by Anchor Trust, um, which is on a pretty important subject in Britain at the moment, which is the connection between governance and regulation. The question is, um, are we expecting too much from regulation? I've asked two people who know quite a lot on the subject to give their views. One is Robert Peston, the other is Deirdre Hutton. I think the very, the very best form of regulation is actually to make consumers powerful. So you give them the information and the wherewithal so that they can make their own judgments. Um, but why, why is financial services so difficult for the consumer? Well, the products are complex, as we've all been told. Um, and they, you often don't know the results until a very long time. You, you don't know for five years, ten years, if your pension works. You, you don't know if your endowment is going to work. So you can't tell for quite a long time, often, if you've done a bad deal. That makes this kind of salesman-individual relationship, I think, even more difficult. Because it does mean that the consumers, on the whole, lack the necessary tools to make uh, the proper judgments in this area. And, I, and what is even worse, in a way, is that they lack the tools to recognize the products that are good. You know, if you take with profits, which in, in many ways have been much discredited, actually, in some senses, with profits policies are quite good for consumers. You know, they smooth out the, the, the ups and the downs. They're terribly complex. Most people don't understand them. And the consequence of trying to make them clear has, in fact, largely meant that with profits are disappearing out of the market. Actually, potentially, they're quite a good product for people. So you can see, you can see on the one hand that you, you, you can't necessarily reckon what is, uh, recognize what's good, but you can also see a system um, which allows the creation of products which serve the interests of a whole range of producers rather than necessarily serves the interest of uh, consumers. Um, and just, I mean, I should say that there are lots of honest people out there as well as dishonest. There are lots of people in financial services, I think, who genuinely have tried uh, to serve the public. I don't think you should kind of say the whole lot um, are bad. My sort of mantra is that if you can make sure that a market is properly balanced between those who sell and those who buy, so you have equal power, then that is the best outcome in the world. Your relationship with the media. And it's sort of what place leadership for the regulators. Because I think what we've been seeing in the financial markets is um, the accumulation of wealth, but not in a way that is sustainable 
would you like us to come? A lot of, there are a lot of people in the audience tonight. Some of them are people who are, you know, trying to figure out what they're going to be doing next and figuring out how they make this transition from local to national. Some of them are quite major figures as national holders of public appointments in Britain, and they too are very passionate about trying to encourage other people to do it and to try and find ways to make the doors more open and, and make it more possible for people to come in.